It's estimated that 450,000 children around the world die every year from rotavirus, a highly infectious disease that causes severe diarrhea and dehydration. Now, vaccines for rotavirus do exist, and the disease is completely preventable, but the vaccine must be kept below 8 degrees Celsius, which makes it difficult to reach children who may live in remote communities where the resources are limited and where the temperature can often soar. I'm Dr. Stephen Nurse Findlay, and I'm here in Maradi, Niger, where it is hoped that a new heat-stable vaccine can help protect these children from rotavirus in the first ever trial of its kind. Dr. Amadou, good to see you. Nice to meet you too. So Dr. Amadou, nice to meet you. So tell me, in what population is rotavirus most a problem? In children under five. Okay. But those under two are more seriously affected. This facility usually receives up to 500 children per month. It is almost always full. Rotavirus is a highly contagious disease that can cause severe diarrhea, vomiting, and fever. It leads to severe dehydration and is a major cause of childhood deaths in developing countries. Omar is 15 months old and was brought into the intensive care unit last night and is in critical condition. Combien jours avant avec le gastroenterologue? Neuf jours à domicile. Neuf jours à domicile. How has he been at home? Does he has he been sick? Has he not been eating? Et maintenant, c'est juste le liquide avec la réhydratation. Oui, donc, euh, en plus de la réhydratation, il y a un traitement antibiotique, un traitement antiparasitaire, mm -hmm. un traitement antifongique mm -hmm. associé. One of the reasons rotavirus is so devastating in countries such as Niger is that many of the existing vaccines have to be kept at a very specific temperature. This makes it extremely challenging to transport the vaccine to reach children in remote communities. This is the cold chain room where we are keeping vaccines. Vaccines must generally be kept between plus two and plus eight degrees Celsius. And electricity is not always reliable. And the cold chain is really an obstacle. Yes, understood. So can you explain what is the process to transport vaccines from this room to a child who requires the vaccination? For transportation, you need a cold box. Yes. You monitor with a thermometer. Mm -hmm. That's a thermometer, and just to monitor the vaccines. temperature. Yeah. And at the minute, the temperature is? I said plus four. Plus four, so this is good right now. Right. So the further away this box goes from these freezers, the greater the chance that the vaccine will no longer be any good. Exactly. How far can this box go safely? About 70 kilometers. 70 kilometers away. Yeah. Basically, you have to be within two, two and a half hours of, the, of this room to benefit from the current rotavirus vaccine. To combat this challenge, the team here in Maradi have been trialing a new thermostable vaccine. It is hoped that this vaccine will remain effective even in high temperature. This is our vaccine, which we are trying in this vaccine trial. It can be used outside. It will not be in need of a cold chain or cold box. I see here on this thermometer that the temperature is 20, 21 degrees. So that's what it means when you say thermostable. Yeah. It means that no matter what the temperature is, yeah. high or low, yeah. this vaccine will continue to work. Exactly. Even though it's 41 degrees outside. Exactly, no problem. No problem. Yeah. This vaccine will remain yeah. potent and will protect that child. Exactly. That's fantastic. Yeah. Our aim is to make this vaccine affordable for all countries. It will be cheaper than the existing vaccines. And less expensive to transport. Exactly. Just we put it in a normal box. After that, we put in the car and we can distribute it directly. Nearly 
8,000 children from across the region are participating in the trial. The Madarunfa Health Center is one of the centers involved and is welcoming hundreds of mothers and babies from the local area. So basically, they come in at six weeks, and then four weeks after that, they get their second dose. And then four weeks after that, they get their third dose. And every time they come in for those doses, they come here yes. for their program visits. Yes. Here is the doctor's room. So the vaccines that arrive in the centers, in the boîtes here. D'accord. And the vaccine is oral? Oral. D'accord. It's not oral. Ça va? Souna son sous son souna yarignane. Saraya. Saraya. And how old? Ka combien de ans? Combien de de semaines? Eh, yazutana da sati dawa. So she's coming for the first vaccination at 6 weeks of age on time. Ah, le dernier, juste le dernier. Ah, ouais, très bien. All the children who are part of the trial receive weekly checkups to monitor their health to ensure that the vaccine is working. Salam alaikum. Tout dans mon cas ma mère c'est à mon coup. Quant à moi, je fais le suivi de son alimentation et de la nutrition. Je fais le poids, la taille. Oui. J'apprécie les œdèmes. S'il y a œdème, donc Je peux lui référer l'enfant. Khadija Issa is 15 months old and due for her weekly checkup. Vous êtes prête pour mesurer? D'accord. 9 kilos, hein? Pas mal. So one month ago, she weighed about 300 grams more, but she also grew one centimeter. So she's going to be a nice tall girl when she gets older, I think. Pour vous tous, I I don't think I'm going to get that pen back. <laughs> The next day, we make the trip back through the countryside and return to Maradi to find out how Omar is getting on. So he improved overnight. Was he eating better? Yeah, I think he feels much better now. In a corner, in a corner. Bonjour. Ah, bonjour. Omar s'est amélioré un peu. Les yeux ne sont plus très enfoncés, comme on a dû le constater hier. D'accord. L'abdomen, il n'est plus déprimé, mm -hmm. parce que la quantité de sel, les diarrhées qu'il faisait a nettement diminué. D'accord, oui. Yanzo, qu'est-ce que tu Comment est-ce que tu as dit? Je suis là, je suis là, je suis là, je suis là, je suis là. So she got some rest, she he got, got some, some rest. rest. He got some rest. So everybody's feeling a little bit better. Yeah. Allez, Omar. <laughs> we saw yesterday, when Omar was in the intensive care unit, the diarrhea and dehydration can be quite serious, no? Right. Even life-threatening. Even life-threatening. You can consider he's very he's lucky. And so the rotavirus vaccine might hopefully protect children like Omar against even developing this infection in the first place. Absolutely. Rotavirus is an entirely preventable disease, and although the trial for this new vaccine is ongoing, it seems to be proving effective. It's hoped that the vaccine will be rolled out across other sub-Saharan countries by the end of this year. And with Niger at the forefront of these developments, the impact of the work being done here could be enormous for children around the world. <laughs>